Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're going to look at how to install Windows 10 onto your Mac and we're running Mac OS Sierra. So let's go through those steps. Now, two things that you need. Uh, for this demonstration, we're going to be running it from uh, a, uh, from instead of having a DVD of my Windows 10, I'm doing it from an ISO. An ISO is essentially just an image of my DVD, right? So I've got my DVD with Windows 10 and I'm creating that into like an image, sort of compressed it into a ISO file, which is essentially the same thing, but on a, on a uh, file level as opposed to on a disc. So you can download the Windows 10 ISO directly off the Microsoft website. If you don't want to convert it from a DVD to a CD, uh, DVD to an ISO, sorry, uh, or if you don't have a DVD drive on your computer. So you can just visit Microsoft.com. The easiest thing is just to go into Google and type in buy Microsoft ISO and you've got the, one of the top hits will be the Windows 10 ISO on here. Now this is assuming that you have a legitimate copy. All right. And you just follow the prompts. You want to download, you know, Windows 10. You then confirm the, um, the, the language, etc., And then it'll give you through the prompts. You need to have obviously a valid license key as well. So that is the option if you do want to download the ISO from Microsoft and you can purchase it as well if need be. Uh, or if you've got the DVD and you've got a DVD drive in your Mac or you've got an external USB DVD drive, you can also convert it. Um, now, what we're going to be using is an app called Boot Camp. Now this is comes uh, this comes natively on your Mac, so all you have to do is just go and run it and start the install. So what we're going to do is we go ahead and go to Spotlight and type in Boot Camp, and you'll see that the Boot Camp Assistant shows up, and open up the Boot Camp Assistant. So what this actually lets you do is it lets you install Windows 10 uh, and run it. Um, on a part of your hard drive on your Mac. So you can actually start up your computer by holding down the shift key and you will actually be presented with either Windows or Mac. So you can actually have them running both at the same time, a full working version of Windows 10. All right, so now in the Bootcamp Assistant, we go to continue and we are going to select install Windows 10 or later. Now what you can do is you can create a Windows 10 or later install disk as well. So as it says, you need an install flash disk on Windows 10 or later to download from Microsoft. All right. Okay, so we've installed a USB disk, all right? A USB external hard drive flash disk, uh, and we're gonna go and format that. All right, so it is actually discoverable. So open up your spotlight and type in disk utility, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the Windows 10 installer onto this USB flash drive, okay? So this is my USB flash drive here. So you're gonna go erase, leave it all blank, that's fine, but make sure that it's Mac OS extended, okay? And erase, and that's gonna go ahead and erase that drive and format it to that format. You can see the progress of what's happening, so it's unmounting, it's creating the partition, etc., and it's formatting that partition as well. So that's gone ahead and finished, and you should now have a USB disk uh, flash drive ready to go. So as you can see, it's gonna install it onto the ISO, onto this, um, uh, into the USB. Uh, you can use a SD card, you can use an external hard drive, those sort of things as well. You can see from the bottom option here, which is uh, you cannot untick unless you untick this. Uh, this is gonna download the latest Windows software. Uh, so when you install Windows, obviously Windows needs to have drivers installed. So that's gonna let you install all of the drivers for your Apple keyboard, your mouse, and all of your hardware that comes with your Mac so that it runs perfectly on the Windows environment. All right, and then we've got install Windows 10 or later and that is ticked. So let's go ahead and say continue. It's gonna ask me where do I want, uh, or where is the bootable ISO? Okay, so we're gonna say that it is on my desktop and your destination disk is going to be this, which is the one that we just formatted. So this is the Toshiba USB um, drive, okay? And it just gives you a warning, the data on this selected drive will be lost. So it is gonna partition, it's gonna format it again and install everything that it needs to onto this USB stick. Continue again. So you'll see that that is now installing uh, and copying the Windows files onto that USB stick that it needs to install Windows onto the Mac. 
So we'll check back once this is done. So once that's finished, you'll see that your USB drive has now been renamed to WinInstall. And inside of it, it's got now all of the um, necessary files to be able to go and install your Windows installer on your Mac. So the next step is to create a partition of your disk drive. So your Macintosh HD disk, which we've got down here, uh, is a certain size and you need to allocate a certain size of that to your Windows installer. So you'll see, for example, here I've got a 950 gig uh, disk drive uh, and 210 is free and we're allocating 49 gig to Windows. So we can go ahead and just change this. So 49 gig is sort of the minimum that you'd recommend to install Windows, but we're gonna install, uh, we're gonna put a little bit more because you have to consider if you're gonna install applications and games and whatever else you want to put on your Windows installer, you want to go ahead and add that space now. Um, you can add it later on, but it's a lot more difficult to do. So you wanna make sure that you give it enough capacity now. So for this, let's just go, we're gonna go with 100 and uh, let's go 100 and, 160, no, 170 gig. All right, is what we're gonna allocate to Windows. And then we go ahead and click on install. So the Mac will reboot after that has done and you'll be presented with the Windows logon screen. So you can select the time and currency, the language as well, uh, depending on what language you've got. Okay, so you can now begin the install of Windows, which should have started automatically. If it hasn't, you can do other ways by holding down the shift key and um, booting it up that way, but it should have come up, okay? So we'll go through and click on next. You'll be seeing their Windows 10 Enterprise. Yours may have other models as well of Windows 10. Okay, so select the one that's relevant to you, and then we click on next. From there, we've got the license terms. So if you agree to them, just accept the license terms and click on next. You're then presented with your list of partitions and your drives that are on your Mac. You'll see that one is called Bootcamp. This is the one that we have formatted earlier. Now you will know that I formatted it as 169 gig, but this says 93.5, that's okay. It's just because I've gone and formatted the drive again and made it smaller. But you'll select the one that's relevant to you, the one that says Bootcamp. Make sure you select the one that says Bootcamp and not format the other ones because you're gonna have trouble. So select Bootcamp and click on Format. That is then gonna format that drive so that Windows can be installed onto that drive. Okay, so make sure you select the correct one before you go ahead and say okay because it could cause a lot of damage if you're not doing it properly. All right, so okay. That will now go ahead and format it and then we click on Next. All right, make sure it still says the same partition, which in our case is partition four. And then Windows will start to install. So it's gonna copy the files and then start the installation. Now this will go uh, take a little bit of time and your Mac will reboot. So we'll just check back once that is done, okay? Okay, so your Mac would have restarted a couple of times after that uh, long install and you should be presented with the basic Windows 10 configuration. So we're just gonna go through the basic conf. Configure this how you want, because uh, it's really gonna be customized to whatever your likings are. So let's just go ahead and do that now. Choose how you'll connect. Uh, you can connect to Windows via a Azure AD or join a domain. We're just gonna select join a uh, domain and then just put in some details. So your username and the password that you want to use and a password hint if you so choose to use that. So finalizing some Windows uh, configuration things in the background, we'll let that go through. As it says, this won't take long, but it can take long. So you should be now loaded into Windows and hopefully if all has worked correctly, you've got presented Welcome to the Bootcamp Installer. What this is gonna do is gonna install some software in the background for Bootcamp and also a whole bunch of Windows drivers uh, for your Mac hardware. So let's go ahead and next. You can also manually go into your Windows Explorer or your My Computer in Windows and manually kick off that installer through your USB stick as well or through your DVD if you chose to do it that way. So that installer shouldn't take too long 
and once it's done, that the, uh, the Mac will have to be restarted again. So once you've logged in, you should now be in your Windows 10 running on your Mac successfully. Now to actually start up your Mac, you can hold down the shift key before the chime rings at the very start, and it actually will give you the option of booting up into Mac or into Windows. Well, I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, for a whole bunch of more videos. Thanks for watching.